In this video review, I'm going to be discussing the Magpul Mbus Pro front and rear backup sights, and we'll be uh, discussing those um, in depth and, and doing an unboxing since I just got a pair of these. So this is be my first look at these particular sights. Uh, later on in the video, I'm also going to compare these to the Spikes Tactical Micro backup sights, the newest offering from Spikes, and set these up side by side and, and basically see which pair is the best ones to um, get for your rifle. So um, these um, ship in these nice little black boxes. Um, these uh, boxes have a see-through window on the front and on the back the boxes just talk about um, uh, they just give some of the specs um, which I'll read off the front sight which is on the left uh, all steel construction Elevation adjustment knob, no tools required. Positive detents in both the up and down positions. 0.432 inch height above rail at tallest point when stowed. That means when folded down. Standard AR sight height when deployed. That means when open. Stowed footprint covers less than 1 and 5 eighths inch of rail. The rear sight. Uh, all steel construction, selectable large and small plane apertures, positive deep tents in both the up and down positions, 0.375 height above rail at midpoint when stowed, standard AR sight height when deployed, windage adjustable with low profile knob. So um, I like the packaging on these. Um, this, this is a change from uh, the Magpul packaging that we're accustomed to seeing, uh, which is just the solid cover, solid color brown box with, with black lettering. Uh, this actually has a sight window. Uh, although I don't believe these are POP packaged for hanging on a rack in a store. Not that anybody really cares about that, but yeah, they're not packaged that way. So inside the box, um, the little plastic storage tray, and there's a Magpul Unfair Advantage paper, and it talks about uh, how to um, install the rail and adjust the elevation at least um, th these would be specific to the uh, front sight, or these instructions are specific to the front sight. And the rear. Same deal, little plastic storage box. Um, these are nice little plastic storage boxes with uh, an embossed Magpul logo on it, uh, so definitely very nice packaging. Uh, same Magpul Unfair Advantage paper and of course this one would be specific for uh, adjustment uh, doing windage adjustments and mounting on the rail and then uh, discussing uh, aperture toggling uh, there is uh, no Magpul stickers in the boxes and the uh, rear sight uh, has a uh, Magpul part number of MAG276 and the front has a Magpul part number of MAG275 so um, these sites um, are somewhat pricey uh, they're right along the same lines as the Spikes Tactical and kind of in the same ballpark as the Troy sites uh, you're looking at a street price for the pair of probably 170 to 180. Um, 
if you are patient and you hunt around I've seen these for as low as uh, 120 to 130 dollars so uh, if you can be patient um, and wait for sale to pop up you can uh, get these at, at a pretty substantially reduced price so um, these plastic packages they basically just flip open and the site um, actually it looks like there's um, the way this packaging is designed here there's a picany rail section right there and the site is bolted onto it so um, I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver to take that one off and let's see about the rear taped shut okay the rear is the same deal um, a little picatinny rail picatinny rail section um, built into the plastic casing and it's screwed down so uh, I'm gonna have to grab a screwdriver and loosen up uh, these screws to get this off and I'll be back shortly okay um, I got these out of the uh, plastic packaging um, the screws on the Magpul MBUS Pros you can either use a flathead screwdriver or you can use a 1 8 inch uh, hex key uh, to um, tighten or loosen them so the um, I'll read off some more specifications that I've got on these uh, like already mentioned these are an all steel construction they are case hardened and finished with a ferretic nitro carbonizing process for extreme resistance to wear and corrosion mounts on any mill standard 1913 Picatinny rail Windage is adjustable with a low profile knob, no tools required. Positive detents in both the up and down positions. Standard AR height when deployed. The weight of the rear sight is 1.8 ounces. Height above the rail and stowed at midpoint is 0.37 of an inch. Length stowed 2.1 inches. Aperture height over rail 1.41 inches. Small aperture diameter is 0 0.07. Large aperture diameter is 0 0.19. Uh, that's about all of the specifications that uh, I I could find uh, from different sources. So, um, what do we have, or what are my initial thoughts? Um, well. They're, these do not lock into place. Um, these um, are like the spikes sights. They fold up and you get a positive click and then they fold down without pressing of a button. Um, if you recall my previous uh, uh, review of the spikes micro, spikes micro sights, that was one of the features I did not like about them was they didn't uh, lock into place like the uh, Troy industry sites do. So these Magpul sites are the same. Neither of them lock into place. They fold down. But um, one thing going with these Magpuls is that these are a steel construction. They're not aluminum like the spikes. So that that's good. Um, on the front here You've got the uh, MBUS Pro logo. Um, basically, the windage or the adjustment screw here. Um, definitely getting positive clicks on that. Um, that's good. Um, that's an idea of what the screw looks like. Um, like mentioned, you can use a flat uh, flathead screwdriver, or you can use a one eighth inch hex key. These are a nice uh, jet black finish, um, which obviously, like mentioned, they're nit nitro carbonized. So I don't believe this is going to uh, 
uh, scratch very easily. And of course these are made in the USA. Uh, steel pin, I don't know if that's a hollow steel pin. Uh, these do appear to be very well constructed. They are very small, low profile. Now the backup sight, um, right off the bat, let's see. Okay. The aperture here folds down and folds up. And you'll also notice that this aperture when up um, is uh, uh, hooded or shrouded, um, which is good. Folded down, um, that is kind of exposed if it's folded down. But this is this is uh, 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 nicer than what Spikes Tactical has to offer. The the aperture on the Spikes Tactical is not protected, and uh, looks that it looks to me like the Spikes Tactical one would would break off pretty easy. This one being a steel construction and having hood around it uh, looks pretty solid. Uh, we've got the Magpul logo right there and the Embus Pro logo on the front. Same type of bolt design and this is the rear of the sight and then of course um, you've got the adjustment knob right here and the adjustment knob says right and points in this direction so if we turn it this way we're moving this to the right positive clicks you know we got solid clicks on the adjustment knob and the mounting, the rail mounting structure. I don't think there'd be any issues with with this on your on your upper your your upper receiver or on your rail section because uh, this whole mounting uh, uh, facility here is steel. Yeah, basically everything is steel according to uh, the information off of uh, Magpul's website. So that's the Embus Pro. Um, what I can see here at this point, uh, very good construction, all steel construction, fully adjustable without tools. Rear sight has a protected aperture and of course, you know, flip type aperture. Solid um, clicks for adjustability on both the front and the rear. Uh, you can use multiple tools to install this. You don't need a specialized tool. And let's put these side by side with the spikes. Now the the spikes tactical um, micro sights. The uh, rear carries a part number of SAS. 80R1 and the front carries a part number of SAS 80F1. These the Spikes Tactical sights um, ship. Uh, they don't ship in a fancy box. Uh, they ship in these little plastic baggies with uh, the Spikes uh, decals on them. The rear sight ships with a tool for installation. The front sight does not. And it is a um, it's like a Torx it's uh, a, like a Torx wrench and if you recall my, my previous review of these sights that I did the Torx wrench that came with the rear sight doesn't fit the front sight, although they are listed as being the same size. So there's some issues either with the torque, the, the torque wrench being out of spec or the bolt on the front sight being out of spec. So, um, 
So here's the Spikes Tactical Sights. See if we can get those in frame. All right, so um, let's talk about the pluses and the minuses. Um, let's see. Um, I'm just reading over some notes here for some specs on the spikes. Uh, spikes gives them a lifetime warranty, made in the USA, of course. The bases and uprights are aluminum. They're machined from 775T6 billet with a Type 3 hard anodized finish. All of the smaller parts are CNC machined from 4140 chromoly billet with a nitride finish. The cross bolts are CNC machined from 68L4V titanium with a hard anodized gray finish. They utilize the T25 Torx Plus or a T25IP head. The, it says the correct T25 Torx Plus wrench is included. Um, well, it's included with the rear. You don't get one with the front. The bases have stainless steel locking thread inserts to uh, eliminate the risk of them loosening up over time. Titanium cross bolts, bolts are hollow so the operator could safety wire them in place if they felt the need. Yeah, that's true. They are hollow, so uh, in, a, in a situation these, these could uh, be safety wired. Um, the spikes, both sights are adjustable without tools. Um, front is adjustable for elevation, rear is adjustable for both windage and elevation. The rear elevation adjustment has quick settings for 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 meters. The adjustment drum is labeled 1 through 6. The rear sight has a removable aperture for uh, CQB use. Each site is laser engraved with the Spikes Tactical logo across the front. And the site adjustment markings are all milled in place. So the main differences right off the bat is all steel construction on the Magpul, aluminum T775 construction on the spikes. So the spikes are going to be lighter, but obviously not going to be as strong. Although T775 aluminum is pretty strong. The um, adjustment bolts are on the spikes are funky, requires a special tool that you may or may not have in your toolkit. Whereas the Magpul uses a standard flathead screwdriver or a 1/8 inch uh, hex wrench. Both of the fronts are uh, very similar in their construction, um, the same type of, of uh, windage knob adjustments, profiles, very similar, side profile, very similar roughly the same height. I think the Magpul is a little bit taller. And feeling these, um, I can't really tell a weight difference. Uh, the weight difference is probably so minuscule I can't tell just by holding on to them. The um, opening and closing of the Magpul is uh, uh, very firm, solid. The spikes opens and closes much easier, which means if you knock this, uh, it's going to move easier. At least that's uh, my assessment from, from looking at this. OK, 
Okay, so those are the fronts. Uh, moving on to the rears. Um, the Again, uh, all steel construction versus the aluminum construction. And this is what I was talking about, this, this aperture up here. See how this is really thin right here? It wouldn't take a lot to snap that off. Um, it's not hooded, whereas it should be hooded. You can see the mag pool is hooded. It's still easy to flip down the aperture. And on that note, the, the mag pool aperture flips down and it just stays right there. So even with it flipped down, you can put the sights down um, and it's still out of the way. It's not going to block your view if you've got a red dot. Now on the spikes, uh, the biggest thing I don't like about this, aside from this not being protected or hooded, is the aperture. You have to remove this little screw in piece and there's no place to put it. Um, it's not captured in any way shape or form. There isn't a, uh, a threaded hole you can screw it in for storage. You just have to put this somewhere and just like that you're gonna lose it. Um, really bad design in my opinion uh, to have something like this that's removable uh, out you know in field use or something you've got to remove this and where are you gonna put this? You can throw it in your pocket and if you've got shooting gloves on, you better hope you don't drop it, uh, especially in the grass or the dirt, you're going to lose it. Uh, I don't like that. Um, I don't like stuff that's not captured that can be lost. You know, look at look at most sites that are on the market, you know, aim points and such. Um, you know, you've got caps that cover your windage and elevation settings, and they're all captured. So there's really no way to lose those caps. They're, they're, they're captured, and they just dangle uh, until you put them back on and this no no way to capture that so that's the those are the two big negatives for me on this um, uh, on the rear sight of the spikes and then of course I'll put this back on here Look at the profile settings or the, the side profile. Very similar. They roughly sit about the same height. Um, the spikes windage knob has positive clicks. The mag pool, it's got positive clicks like I mentioned. Now the um, Spikes Tactical rear sight, um, the rear is adjustable for windage and elevation. Uh, if you notice there's uh, uh, an extra adjust adjustment on here. Uh, the mag pool is, is not. It's uh, uh, adjustable for windage only. So, um, that's, a, that's a plus on the side of the spikes. So, um, after looking at these, um, I like certain features about the Magpul. I like certain features about the spikes. Uh, it's hard for me to kind of pick a, a winner. Um, I think uh, the longevity of the mag pools um, would be better, um, especially on the rear with the uh, shrouded uh, aperture. Uh, they are a bit heavier because they're all steel construction, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't I don't think the all steel con steel versus the T775 aluminum is going to be that big of a weight difference. Um, so I'm kind of on the fence on on uh, what would be my recommendation, but what really kills me, like I mentioned, uh, is the uh, rear aperture setup on the spikes 
with the removable um, aperture piece. I don't like that and I don't like the fact that it's not shrouded. So uh, my pick um, is going to be for the Magpul uh, at this point. Uh, I think for probably the next generation of Spike's tactical sights, I think they'll probably fix those, those small oversights and, and have a really good product uh, at that point. So anyway, I don't have anything else to add um, right now about the Magpul MBES Pro sights. But uh, I'm definitely going to put them on my rifle and uh, sight them in and give them a try. And if I have any, any other concerns or I discover anything else, I'll report back in the comments of the video.